All right, hey everybody. This is Ryan's Washer Videos, and today right here, I am back with the laundry center, which is a Kenmore laundry center made by Frigidaire. It's been quite a while since I uh, been here, because uh, I I have no idea how long was I not been in this house. I believe back in November. Uh, it's been a while since I haven't been in here. So right now my uh, friend started the uh, washer right now. So I, so Jerome Davis, this is for you. And hopefully my video won't be interrupted like last time or something else. So and we have the dryer right now that it's finally been fixed, which is we'll see. So I'm gonna put this on cool down mode. Works as it should. Yep, very happy. So buzzer still works. And the uh, washing machine is about to start the cycle. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it won't do its uh, long agi agitation like the uh, previous model does. Because uh, I remember that timer stops here until it'll it'll move on to its other cycles. All right, so the washer had started the cycle right now. So. I believe the detergent today is the extra right here. Plus, also clean same fighters. So now that the washing machine is running, here's the model number. Here's a very good uh, wash action over there. Very good dual action agitator. Well, don't ask me why am I think about it. I call it as dual action because it reminds me it's like it is a dual action agitator. You know, you know, you might realize this frigidaire can do uh, two ways right here. For yeah, two ways uh, uses uh, to agitate clothes properly, including the wash plate, including the agit faker. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Scampair 2004 for that, because uh, one of the uh, upper agitator with the agitator one-way dog right here is that they help to uh, push down a clothes to agitate. So. The one with the agitator who is not actually in one direction, then it might be the agitator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that tub is in indexing very strong. I'm not lying, so. So, and I don't want to forget is the scissors, which is I can find one. There it is. And I don't know why. Okay, so that's glass, and looks like they got a new, looks like they got a new faucet. Finally, got a new faucet. Cause uh, the previous faucet, it was so crappy. It was keep, it keeps dripping and over and over and over. So that's so that's why they got a new faucet. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, very good action, you'll see. Looks like they have some clothes and towels in the washer right now. So hopefully during a spin, hopefully it won't uh, hopefully it won't go too out of uh, too out of balance or something. So and yes, I figured out why instead of the uh, while doing the agitation with the lid closed, we can still do a lid open at this time. Or you can keep the lid closed 
to keep the washing machine going but don't leave it open all the time because uh, this washer will never engage the spin cycle while your lid is open well you can definitely open the lid while the washing machine is agitating but it but it won't go to spin cycle while uh, while the lid is open Very good agitation that we see. I'll come back to it until probably around until the spin cycle. Just before that, uh, I have a better lighting right over there instead of these right here because I don't want to have a bad lighting around here. That way, <coughs> it might be. I mean, you can still see the washing machine in action, but you can see clothes that are still blooming. But, uh, I don't know if you can see that better while well, hopefully during the spin cycle, hopefully, hopefully the camera will pick, pick that up. So, run to medium wash, that means there's normal wash, maybe at 12 or 10 minute wash right now. And it seems like it's finally moving on instead of the previous machine can wait here for longer and longer it gets. It seems interesting every time if I'm here in the pump. Like you can hear that noise like Yeah, it's so interesting but not lying though. So I would think about light uh, the light wash might be the uh, expression wash cycle. Well only the light load that you got. Medium low what you got it doesn't matter what you want, so. All right, I'll come back to you all for another cycle. Okay, so this is before going to the spin cycle. I'm thinking about uh, leaving the scissors here until, uh, until it'll spin. Like, I wanna show you all by uh, putting the scissors here, if you push it in, and then if you use the other hand, then it'll push in properly. And as soon as I open a lid a little slower, it has a squeak, like a little bit of horrific squeak right now. Whoa, that's so loud. Yeah, I know, I, I told you. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you uh, the trick. I mean the trick until this uh, final spin cycle. Well, it's getting closer to the internal spin right now. Very good wash action I've ever seen. Sorry if I'm uh, backing up the uh, machine because I have the uh, cord plugged into the other house and in the living room. So that way I want to get my phone charged properly because I don't have my battery back with me because I have it charging at my house right now. It's halfway there. The, the pink one right here looks like an an anime or something. Yeah, it looks like an anime girls. But yeah, it's so cute. But yeah. And yeah, it's getting closer to the spin.
show. I'll put the scissors here. I'll push it in until, until it'll stop. Soon, looks like. back to it. There it goes. Now time for the engaging spin because you know this machine does not have neutral drain. It immediately turns the tongue. It's just like when my grandmother's, uh, grandmother's washer has. Oh, my grandmother's washer only spins clockwise. But of course, the small one turns kind of clockwise for the spin. And the lid is locked right now. Maximum RPM to 600. And all of the water is pumped out. You need to be careful, or otherwise they're going to they're going to wet you. They're going to uh, splash at you. If you don't like that, maybe you should uh, close the lid immediately. Yeah, I do not like that. <laughs> Fluffy extraction speed. And look at all this water. <laughs> Black water after the spray rinse. Getting closer to the rinse cycle. Hopefully I'll shock the uh, full spin cycle.
set of fire would invite you all away from the uh, spin cycle. Uh, I mean, the one with the uh, trick one that I want to show you is that instead of you want to hold on to the scissors while you're trying to let this machine spin, let me show you. Again, if you hold on to the scissors, then if you use your other hand, and then if you pull it a little gently, maybe the scissor will hold on to it. So hopefully it doesn't trip over while the washing machine is vibrating. So, okay, now you can see that. <laughs> I tricked it. So I no longer hold on to the scissors. <laughs> and now as you can see, the washing machine is still spinning. And doesn't mean I interrupted it. It's still going. Very quiet, no berry noise. Just like it's almost like last year that I did record my jacket get him get him washed on the previous machine. And there it goes. Starting to rinse. Back up. <laughs> we want to let the machine decelerate before we're safe. So again, kids, if you have this model, when you're trying to uh, use one of those things that you want to defeat, if, you, if it gets the spray rinse, don't let this happen to you, or don't try this at home, if you have one of the clothes that you got. Right, now, we're good. Uh, it made me think about I'm going to wa uh, wipe everything out while the machine was doing its spray or anything, anything like that. And it seems like I can, I can barely see water is at a different direction trying to squirt. Not a big deal, so I'll, I'll come back to you all until it's at the maximum fill. Okay, seems like the washing machine line is already been up for about like maybe about five minutes again it looks like the washing machine we're filling since about five minutes right now and now it's about to agitate and here it goes rinse in action So again, I'm really glad I can't think about putting those scissors in while the washing machine is agitating. I'm really glad the fact is that the washing machine is still going while agitating while the lid is open. You could do that on your own if you have this model. Because uh, this machine was almost around about a year since the previous model had died. So I believe this is the 10 month old machine right now, but you know this uh, machine is not in stock anymore. I believe this is someone else who are, are, are giving away this machine or something else that I thought of.
Maybe I should clip it as the uh, full rings action instead of cutting it. Because uh, last time I did the previous laundry center is I did clip the full clip the full action of the rinse cycle. Hopefully, hopefully next video in the future, while my friends are trying to wash some stuff, and then after the wash passes through it, maybe hopefully I'll I'll go ahead and uh, shot the full the very full cycle of the rinse cycle. So, the sound with the lid closed sounds so quiet, including the pump is making a bit of a noise. Which is, I'm thinking about it, it's not a big deal, so. Reminds, reminds me of that knob right here, is my grandmother's dishwasher. But hopefully soon, if I get back to my grandmother's house, maybe I should do another cycle on the Kenmore Ultra Wash 3 dishwasher. Again, it looks kind of similar to the Kenmore Ultra Wash 3. Yeah. Not for long though. Looks like the machine is almost there. All right, now I tricked uh, I tricked the lid again. It'll start to spin for just a second. There it goes. Scissors is still holding on to it. I, I don't want to keep the lid. Uh, I don't want to keep the uh, scissors that way because I really want to make sure the clothes are spinning dry. Because I want to let this machine keep finishing until it'll it'll be done. Until the machine will start to decelerate, then we'll watch it decelerate, maybe. Well, because, well, not just because uh, we'll have to wait until the lid is unlocked, because the lid, the one with the lid latch right here, can uh, go on top of the lid lock that you'll see. Can't pick that up, so once it's starting to spray rinse, we have to back up immediately again. It might be the third time. Yep, here we go. Do it at your own risk. She's a little wobbly right now. Yeah, you can, you can barely see that the tub is wobbling right now. It made the whole machine a bit wobbly right now. Well, never mind, because shaking well at least it's not vibrating too much it's just a little shaky during a cycle doing very good as it should maybe I should go ahead and uh, shut the lid until uh, the machine will finish so I won't let you uh I won't let you all see the full spin cycle until it'll be finished. So, 
if it gets closer to the end, I'll, I'll get back to you all. So, I'll, I'll be back. Okay. I believe this machine is at the uh, final adjustment right now. So the cycle is getting near it. And hopefully we'll get to watch it decelerating. So yeah, the knob will stop until I lift the lid up while the, while the machine is decelerating. And maybe I can adjust it off all the way if it gets closer to off right now. It'll be good. It'll be done for just a second. Here we go. And now, now it's finished. Now I have to wipe everything out of here again. Well, I'm thinking about air drying or, or something. Okay, so that's the cycle video of the Kenmore Ultra Wash, no, Ultra Wash, Kenmore Laundry Center made by Frigidaire. Another cycle video for Jerome Davis, and hopefully in the future we should do a perm press cycle since Joel requested me earlier. But hopefully we can do that if I find one of my loads that I really want to wash. So yeah. Again, that pink side right here, it reminds me that's like anime girls yeah don't ask why just don't blame me about this cuz I'm interested with anime girls or anime girls whatever you pronounce it <laughs> all right so yeah that's a cycle video of the Kenmore laundry center made by Frigidaire so hopefully another video will do another wash cycle anytime soon all right get Hopefully I'll catch you another video and hope you liked it. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in another video.